Murray. Grimaldia. Three in the tackle. Ward had to finish off over the top. Rodwell and Mundine were low. Polamatter up for Britt. Running back towards the post. Gets oh, the ball boy. out of Silva. Silva has scored for Canterbury. And Darren Britt is rightfully getting pats on the back from all of his... 45 metres out. Leicester got into dummy half for Ward. Strong carry from Barry Ward. Off landing for Grimaldi. Then up with Martini. 15 minutes out, Martini steps the fullback. Shane Martini has scored the match-winning try. A dream come true for the young Queenslander. Shane Martini. Two, one. Canterbury Bankstown have won the 1988 Grand Final with these Canterbury players. Spare a thought for the Balmain side, beaten but far from this one part of it. Stone to the 10, looking back, finding Silva, ends the try, ends the first try, and the only try thus far. G has been strong for a number of years for Canterbury, hasn't he? Corey Hughes, one of the new breed. The bounce is back underway for Leicester. Puts another kick in. I can let it bounce. Canterbury's going to score. Canterbury's over. Oh, they have put it over the line. The referee wants the video. I can't see too much wrong with it. Canterbury have got the try. And Canterbury down by the Bears and the Bears. Rocking and reeling. This is the last. A drop goal. Looks okay. The arm's going to go up. It does go up. Corey Hughes. Will play it. 12 metres out from the north line. There's a punch up in back play. And Canterbury go over to score. It is Talau. Talau has scored. While his team board pass. Last tackle. 10 out. Silva. There could be numbers here for Canterbury. Glenn Hughes has a run. Straight through. Glenn Hughes at pivot for the Bulldogs. He makes his impact. A try scorer in the grand final in 95. I begin with Shields. Last tackle. Corey Hughes not going to kick that time. Norton decides to run it. Then back for Glenn Hughes and ankle tap. Hughes is three minutes out. The Dogs are going to square it up. The Dogs are going to square it up. Corey Hughes has scored for Canterbury. It's right underneath the black dot. Oh. I thought again Hughes was there. Oh, they've got the score. It comes up. Swing and a dummy from Brent. Brent has scored. The captain, the skipper, has scored for Canterbury. The deadlock is broken here at the stadium. And look at Andrew Johns. A dying man's plea. Looking up. And now they run again. This Canterbury side rolling on Grimaldi. He came close in regulation time to sealing the match. Able to keep it going. Here's Brent, the try scoring machine. Fielded on the bounce by Stone. There's more trouble as Norton passes back in field. Then from Corey Hughes to Silver. Silver's going to get there. Silver's there. Newcastle are gone. And Canterbury. They march on. It is a juggernaut now for the Bulldogs. And very fitting that Rod Silver gets the try here. The one that is definitely the sealer. Hetherington over the top. Pull him out or underneath. And Kelly. Kelly runs across and steps. He'll go over. Kelly's over the line, but held up. Oh. That's a marvellous tackle by Rod Silver. You won't see a better tackle. Hetherington. Hetherington. Oh, Polamander's in. How was the pass? Polamander's over the line. And Harrigan points to the spot. Canterbury over the line. Impressive when he's had a chance. Polamander. Inside ball for Rill. Big finish. Parramatta by six points. Glenn Hughes. Long ball for Silva. Then Talau. Talau in the corner. Canterbury are in again. Parramatta are walking. Now. Can he do it? Has there been a more important kick for Daryl Halligan? Has there been a more important kick for Canterbury? 
He hits it. If it hooks it, it's, it's staying on the line. He's got it. Oh, the man. Oh, the man is a messiah. He's a freak. That's Ball block. Stone. 15 away from the Paramount line. Polamanda goes for the drop goal. The hand goes up. So Canterbury's in front. 19 points to 18. Hard run. Polamanda again. Polamanda will score. Canterbury's over. And it couldn't have come to a player more deserving than Craig Polamanda. Price. Polamanda, the drop goal. Another point to Canterbury. Well, Craig Polamata has taken this game by the scruff of the neck. They wind the clock down, rolled in the goal area. They're lucky to get through too many more attacks. Britt across the park. Norton. And Norton will score. Norton is over. The game is over. Canterbury goes to the grand final. In my mind has led the way for the Manly forwards thus far. Hasler across, Tuvi on the right, goes over looking for Jerry Hill. He brushes away, he gets into space, he's inside the... Oh, screaming tackle from Lamb. Four. And Moore is tackled inside the 20 metre line. Hasler, urgent to dummy half, Tuvi across, and then Lyons, a second man play for Ridge, and Ridge is picked off and driven by John Timu. And tapped ahead with no mark. Just that off. Short of the line. Oh, there's a chair to the left if they can get it to Halley and Green. Stewart looking to put the long pass on and it's gone straight into the arms of the number 12. And Bradley Clyde has scored off the Ricky Stewart pass. The fullback. And they're just over the halfway line now. Carroll again. Ooh, heavy stuff from Bright. Half, they've done very, very well. He's starting to make some mistakes and Henry starting to string together some possession. Here's Price. Over the halfway. There's support coming. Silva. Oh, put away the glasses. Clear the car back. Rob Silva scores. Stephen Price. Burst. And now by three of them. They didn't miss him. Mackay, Ward, Tracy, Stewart, Corey Hughes, and Bradley Clyde. Rehearsed. Perfect. They don't come off any better than that. Pelican scores for the record, but Big Bradley Clyde ran off Corey Hughes. Now they've opened it up on the left. They stack the blind side, however. Back and away for Ward. Ward. He's over. right on top of it. Canterbury. Stewart to the open side. Here's a try. Back again. Well, he's trying to do it, Ricky Stewart, isn't he? That's a couple of times he's had to dig himself close to the line. Can't get over. Hughes gets there this time. Stephen Hughes. Bundles his way over. Canterbury's first try has come up. In games earlier on in the season. Never know when you'll need them. Talau. Smith, quick hands for Silva. The dummy. The step. The step. Shield was it? In fact, Hughes made the tackle. Stewart, Silva, Silva will come around, improve the position. His second try in four minutes. Rod Silva is on fire. Oh, they're back. What about them? I don't believe that they're back. Did I say the book playing left centre at the moment? They're going to attack down Greg Smith's wing. Back to the open. Stewart, high ball, 50-50 chance. Hughes stands his ground. Is a come off Hughes? We'll go to the video referee. We're going to have a look at a couple of things here. Darren Smith. The one is unsigned. It's a try. The crowd tells the story. Is it there? He's got some sort of hurdle at that 10 meter line. Stewart turns up the pass and there's a try to Canterbury. Corey Hughes scores. And then Paul McWayne cops one of the chips. He says 110 kilos. Thank you.
do it. It's a step away from the chase is coming through. El Masri down the left wing. Kicking back in field. It's a good one from El Masri. Bounces up for Silva. What rugby league is this? Silva scores for Canterbury. What a bounce for Ross Silva off the El Masri kick. And Swain, 29 tackles for the night. Highest from both teams. Stewart kicking, last tackle, back to the wing of Matt Geyer. The chases are coming through for Canterbury! El Mandri! Oh. The home of AFL and El Mandri has done better than any full forward. The tackle wasted, although they do get position where they can go left or right on the last. Stewart to the left, the blind side with Stephen Hughes. Can't unload, well he has now to El Mandri. Back to Stewart. Stewart has a couple of teammates in front of him. This kick for the wing of Hancock. Hancock's in strike, the ball comes down, and Canterbury oh. a chance with Stone. Stone now goes for the line, the goal is assured. Stone is over. About Prittis the tackler. So this tackle count, inside the Broncos, 20 mounts, and now Darren Smith. Hard to stop, Smith is over against his former club. Darren Smith has scored. Second try for the night for Canterbury. The tackle, Jim and Siva, all his weight in the tackle on Corey Hughes. Last here for Canterbury, Ricky Stewart. Puts the short one through his Silva, and there's a try. He's going to check to see if Silva was offside. I've got no problems with it. 16 calls if they get the green light to Canterbury. Well, Canterbury are very confident that there's no problem here. It'll be correct weight, no doubt about it. Try to the Bulldogs. They're back in front. Alan Packer. We go to Ricky Stewart. He freaks up another five metres. This Hangs up in the breeze, they have it. El Masri, El Masri, and El Magic will score. In suburbs. Oh, good cleaning up there from Fraubeck, a little tackle. Geez, they got no one out wide, West. They must score Canterbury on the far side of the field. It's on the ground, but Palau comes up with it. That will certainly be a four-pointer for the Bulldogs. Simpkins confirms the fact. The broken rib. And as a result, Barry Ward has played much of this game, despite being named on the bench initially. Here's Palau breaking free of tackles. He got the pass away to, to Travis Norton. He's going to be hard to stop from there. Shows the ball, got around the tackle of Justin Brooker. And that is a magnificent try from the Canterbury lock forward. We've seen there's been at least three this afternoon. One led to a try where West have intercepted an offload. Steve, this could be furious. I remind you, Canterbury had the best compared Around the ruck, I think Travis Norton's been very good as well in the second half particularly this guy's gone well as well indeed it's dennis scott in jumper number 15 and this is another canterbury try it's the young rookie halfback brent sherwin who puts it down beneath the black dot stone to canterbury been absolutely tireless as he gets up to play it and looks towards the pitch too wouldn't mind a breather the big number 10 for canterbury the bulldogs coming back at western suburbs again inside the final two minutes of play Canterbury 20, Western Suburbs 12. As we see Hetherington all setting up a chance here for Halligan. He dummy to Willie Talau. Halligan got the call from Hetherington. Now Talau's got the football. He got away from the tackle of Leo Dinova. Bradley Clyde away now to Stephen Hughes. Chance ball on Stephen Hughes. Sets his sights on the try line. Brooker came at him again. This will be El Masri and a try to Canterbury <laughs> with 90 seconds remaining on the clock. That is a fantastic <laughs> try. Here's the head-to-head -head since 1982, and it's 7-1, uh, the Raiders. That's at Bruce Stadium, I should point out. Now, there's Norton getting the ball back inside for Darren Smith. They'll go over and score. Brad Clyde, unstoppable. And Clyde is in after a blindside rush by Canterbury. And that statistic gives you an idea. Here's Canberra making a clean break. A Clinton, a Clinton for Skirt, pushes away from Darren Smith, who comes again. Great play by Darren Smith. Price, who's going to play the ball, 12 metres out. Centre of the ground, Norton again, cutting out Stone. The ball bouncing for Sherwin, then for Glenn Hughes. He's over. Glenn Hughes is over. Canterbury are back in front, 16 to 14. And about a metre into North Sydney Territory now. Almost 14 minutes gone here. Live action from Stadium Australia. Small crowd in this afternoon. Talau got the pass away to a free-striding Darren Smith. Smith's going to get there. No doubt about that. He puts it down for the four-pointer. He just seemed to be loping, almost jogging across the ground. Tackled a couple of metres short on tackle five. Yeah, they scrambled well there, the Bears. Stephen Hughes at Dully Half. Now Stewart, little short kick oh. racing through there was Corey Hughes. 
to try. He come from right on short, I'd say. I think he did too. Great try. Good understanding between Ricky Stewart and Corey Yoon. Possession. Scooping it up. Across the park. The open side through Ricky Stewart. They're 30 out from North Sydney's line. Travis Norton. Inside pass. Good stuff from Canterbury. It's Razzle Dazzle. Right Smith is. comes up with it. He fouled Bradley Clyde. Oh. This will be a great try if he's got it down. Waiting for Manda. He's going to award the four points. That's a gem to Canterbury. Oh, well, I nearly got the chip to play before. That's Ricky a gem. Stewart. That's a great try. And that's what we love about this game. Seeing tries like that. It's a very good opportunity here, so he might have to hold on until we get this. Stewart to Silva. Silva's going to get there, surely. He's across the line. Did he get it down? He's not confident he did. Manda's going to go from the video referee. I'll tell you what, that was dangerous if they gave it to someone with a bit of speed there. Great play there from Travis Thornton. Now they come through Ricky Stewart. Glenn Hughes through the hands. Out wide for Stephen Hughes. He's got plenty of pace. He Great might ball. get there. On the far side to Hazem El Mazri. Canterbury. Another four-pointer. 26 points to wait with the kick to come. And they're nine metres out the Canterbury side. And they elect to go the short side. Silva, is he going to get another one? Oh, I wouldn't miss some doubt over that pass. It did look forward. Manda's going to award the four points. He points to the spot. And it's Ricky Stewart running at the... Very, very poor. That's unusual for Jared Ryan to be critical of uh, rugby league in this country, but Clyde, he, uh, this is a close game for Canterbury, wasn't it? It was. Um, late in the second half, it looked as though Canterbury were going to climb on top. Well, they've scored some good tries, one, one being here, and um, just sort of let them back into the game. Uh, uh, Corkham played some good football on the Central Coast only a few weeks ago, and he had a big game. I saw a, a, a few parts of this game. And a real knack of finding the try line. Big Jonas on the inside. Corey Hughes, soft. Is it held up? He gets oh. it down eventually. Well, they're one short in the defensive line, Manly. Norton back on the inside for Silva. Silva. They can't stop him, and the Rocket Man gets there. Grit their teeth and go on with it. Uh, Bulldogs, they know how to win games, and Manly, they just have to get some more confidence back. Hasn't he played well this time? Norton splits them, kicks. Silva gets another hole. That's brilliant. Second try in the space of 10 minutes for Rod Silver. Well, how skillful was that? No second tackle. For Stewart always has plenty of runners and finds Silver. Rod Silver. Over the top. Hughes on the outside of his man. Oh, El Masri nice. comes back to the centre. They keep alive again. Oh, Canterbury, what, a what a try! The entertainers of the past, they come alive. Stephen Hughes touches down. Try number one for Canterbury. What a try. Stewart. Longer ball. Sherwin. Hughes has one try. They've got to come off their line. They don't. Canterbury score again. Shane Martini. Shaken but not stirred. He goes up. Important theory of the game at the moment. Very important. Wide ball for Sherwin. Hughes has one oh. try. Silver. Slippery. Silver gets over the line. Canterbury. A chance to tie the ball. Canterbury are very good at working into a good field position because they have Ricky Stewart to put them there. Here he goes. Long range shot. That's 45. Oh. 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 It goes over. It hit the crossbar. Oh. It's one of the longest field goal shots you'll ever see. Six Nobody said it. Anything at all. Touch judge referee. Oh! Jason Bell! Just that. Perry one more time. For Norton. Norton away. For Hughes. Hughes for Martini! Well. To the blind again. Silver's there! They've got numbers on the right, he's gone back to the centre, he's picked up Silver again, Silver gets it away, it's still alive, El Masri, Hughes, Stephen Hughes, a try for Canterbury, oh beautiful, a 
a great try there, engineered by Darren Smith. Last tackle, runs the... This defence is holding, and it will send the Bulldogs down to the last tackle. They rush up against Stewart. He just took the heat of that, set himself, put it out wide for El Masri. Put down by Nigel Bugginer. Darren Britt's got six more. Does he get there? He gets it down. Ten mistakes in their own half, the Bulldogs. Warriors have still made plenty themselves. Norton! And Halligan to the corner, touch judges, flag stays down. Great finish from Halligan. And they'll go upstairs to check it. This was an absolute photo finish. And he's got there. sideline absolutely brilliant two handling errors in the game both by the Sharks the Stewart turns it across to the right of the ground and joining in Stephen Hughes quick passing Rod Silver with some space gets the ball away to El Masri El Masri will score has in El Magic he's over the score for the dog a beautiful ball put away and now for Stephen Hughes, gets a call from Ricky Stewart, they come to the blind side, he's over, Stewart's in to score, beautiful play, beautiful play by the former Australian, looking at the try line. Kendrington there, finding Stewart, Stewart's over, he gets his second try of the day, and his second career try for Canterbury. So by Matt Ruer, he wrapped up Sherwin, or Masri, to Stewart, Norton again, playing in that pivot role. With the ball away to Halligan, put the great pass on oh, Halligan, reached out magically with the left hand, did he get the ball down, the touch judge thinks he might have done so, he was perilously close to that eastern touch line, touch and here it comes, it's a try! The word went out that Steve Foxy was got to play the ball quicker and make them defend for us. Good tackle, for that's for a fair while to come. Sherwin gives it away to Stewart. The big meters here. And the clock ticks down to the one minute mark. Ross goes back and fills it inside his own 20 meter line. Oh, good tackle for Martini. Almost to the halfway line on the last tackle. Stewart under some pressure then from Paul Marquette, who was getting up in his face. Guy gives it to Roy Ross. Oh, and Darren Smith to get on with the game. Silver takes the quick tap and gives it off to Stephen Price. He beat the tackle of Evans, he beat a couple of more tacklers as well and reached out to score a try for the Bulldogs. To his right hand side, that's Sherwin and Reardon were there, but he took the tackle. Now here's Norton, grubbing behind the line for himself. He almost hit the ball back, on the toe it goes, El Masri flying, he picked it up, he scores a try for Canterbury. Do we have a miracle finish coming once again? Oh, Paul Simpkins, he says that's a try. Only minutes later, Glenn Hughes broke loose in his 100th first grade match Glenn to send El Masri in for his second. See some open space, it's still going Glenn Hughes, good break out of dummy half by Hughes, kicks ahead, chased by Sherwin, will he get it? He does, Brent Sherwin, then is able to get his pass away, and going for the corner is El Masri and scores! Bridge of the gap, Dennis Scott touching down to win it, 30-18. Able to give it away to Dennis Scott, they might need the field goal, they won't! going to work for a field goal and Dennis Scott had different ideas. Ten minute finale by the Bulldogs made this another forgettable day at Campbelltown. Clyde scoring the first of five tries and Norton also crossing. Kicking ahead, Norton. Kicking ahead again, Norton. Will he win the race for the ball? Yes, he will. They'd be lining up for seconds. Ricky Stewart handing Halligan a pair, but Ralph worked every inch on the way to his double. Stewart. Back on the inside, Sherwin, and now Ralph, three on two. Darren Smith, will he go on the inside? He went to Ralph. He slam dunks it down. 58-point walloping at the hands of Parramatta. And a week later, the Magpies on a similar flight path against Canterbury. Three. But Canterbury wasn't done as Stephen Price continued the route, forcing Halligan to kick another goal from the sideline. We've all kicked the Bulldogs to win this game, but... 
it might be qu uh, closer than you think. And yeah, the great uncertainty of rugby league, and there's some uncertainty about this bomb at the moment. Sears couldn't get his hands to it. It's still the final tackle. Tried time already for Canterbury. El Masri got there. They tried. This game might appear to be a formality, two points, but it's a lot hinging on each of these games, bearing in mind how close the competition is. It's all for and against as well. Can be a problem, Mario. Sides don't get quite after the tackle's made, and therefore it's a scrum. It's a Canterbury feed. They have it. Silver strikes, and he strikes quickly. Rod Silver scores the second try for Canterbury. The Bears can't believe it. They have had a lot of it in their own half, haven't they? We've said before, they haven't made that many clean breaks. There's one down the short side here, and there's another one now, El Masri. With pace, El Masri tries to get it back on the inside. He did, Darren Smith on the outside. Smith, try number three for Canterbury. Darren Smith. Bears players with Travis Norton, once he's thrown that dummy. They've got it wide open now, though. And that's the way the Ricky Stewart goes. Pressure coming up for Dallas. He can't get a jump at it. Oh. Halligan did. They'll get another one. Smith again. His second try for the afternoon. In the space of 12 minutes. Of course, that last one against Brisbane. And no one really knows what position they'll be playing for by the time they get there. That Sears has positioned himself very well. Oh! Jason Taylor. They come across. Anthony Swan. Off, driven sideways. Stephen Price, the man. Final tackle for Canterbury. They run it. El Masri. Stepping, stepping, reaches out. Harrigan will give the try. Canterbury have wrapped it up. The cardiac kick. Third line here. Inside the last minute. Hughes kicking, looking for the end goal. El Masri kept it in play, did he? Silver coming through will pounce it, perhaps for his second try of the night. He has scored what will be the final try of the game. Stewart, first receiver, flat pass. Stone on the brick rather on the run around. And lost to Silver. Got through a gap. Flips it back onto the inside to Lau there and again the Bulldogs. Balmain have opened up. On the right-hand side of their defensive well, was having discussion. I think he would have lost that one. And Bobby Craig's quite in Willie's weight division. <laughs> away a few kilos. Stephen Price into a gap. Has to allow on his inside. Run away from him. He won't need him. He will run all the way and score a great try from the second rower. Ignored the center. Backing up on his inside. Took on the fullback. Well, off the bench tonight. Starting... First 13 for the last month or so. The ball bounces up nicely for El Masri. Fires it to Silva. You get around Gillette so easily. Oh, Pat. Good thing to he was tapping. He keeps going now. Comes to Craig Field. He runs around the halfback. He got it back to Halligan. They won't stop the lanky winger. And he will score a length of the field drive for the Bulldogs. And he'll put it down under the black dot. Try. Inside the Balmain 30 on the last tackle. What price of bomb, Gary? They won't go to the bomb. They'll run it. They show it. Hughes to El Masri. Got away from the tackle. Flips it back on the inside to Silva, who scores his 15th try of the season. What a pass from El Masri off the grass. Reply, and it came in the form of Hazem El Masri. Some pressure coming up for the youngster Lula. He flies, doesn't get it. Coming through, that man El Masri placed the ball down. But was it knocked 